Howdy folks, we're back at it again with the uh, Starlink beacon tracking. Um, today we're looking at uh, channel 2. Uh, as I mentioned in the first video, there are 8 Starlink channels. They're separated by 240 megahertz. Um, so the first one we looked at in the first video was the, I think for any purpose here, channel 1, which was 11.325 gigahertz. Uh, today we're looking at channel 2, which is at 11.565 gigahertz. So if you take 11.325 and add 240, you get 11.565. And then since the uh, uh, local oscillator inside our L and B will uh, mix that down. Uh, we'll do a little bit of math and 11,565 minus 9,750, which is the local oscillator frequency, we get 1815 megahertz or 1815 megahertz. And that's where I have the VFO tuned to this time. So we are now looking at channel 2 for Starlink and uh, we have our little window here for demodulation so if we see a signal on our screen we'll be able to hear it go by so if you haven't checked out our uh, first video on this series uh, go check for that one and then uh, you'll see how this setup is currently tuning into Starlink signals uh, with a universal L and B and an RTL SDR. Oh, there's a signal way over here. Uh, I missed it. We'll just have to wait for another one. So the program that I'm using here is called SDR Angel, and I will put a link to it uh, in the bottom, along with uh, some links to the other pieces of equipment that are here being used. So I'm not really certain how Starlink decides which of the eight channels it needs to use. It seems to default to channel 1. Oh, here we go, here's one. It seems to default to channel 1, which was the 11.325 megahertz sorry 11.325 gigahertz <coughs> and then occasionally it will use channels 2 through 8 I guess when the system is more congested not really sure on that there's one right here Yep, right about here. I'm waiting for it to get a little bit stronger. Here we go. Okay, I'm going to move my mic closer. Did you hear that? That was the uh, Starlink beacon going by our window. Oh, we got two simultaneously. So a faint one that was right here. Oh, there it is. So we got this one and this one. And a third. There's three going on. Three Starlink satellites. One, two, three. And 
And here's number four. <laughs> I love that. Do it one more time. Okay, we also have a second one here. So you see this satellite and that satellite. Yeah, it's like we got uh, one left here. I thought I saw another one way over here. I had it one time where there was uh, three very strong ones at once. By the way, if you're wondering why the signal is moving, starting from a high frequency to a low frequency, that's due to Doppler shift. So because the satellites are moving in a low Earth orbit at very high velocity, there's almost 100 kilohertz worth of Doppler shift. That's plus 100 kilohertz to minus 100 kilohertz. So there's an extreme amount of Doppler shift. So far I'm not seeing any more. Anyway, I thought this was fun to show everyone um, channel two. Uh, you can also take a look at channel one of Starlink in my first video in this series um, and get a better idea of this uh, test setup or receiver setup uh, that I have going on here. W6DKW and Dan, hope you guys have a good one. Bye.